What's going on Funko Collectors, Funko Asian here and I'm back with a brand new episode of my massive haul that I picked up this month. Um, it's just a lot of uh, ordering, a lot of in-store pickups, um, but luckily they all came in. So this is going to be a huge, huge episode, a huge massive haul of just Funko Pops. Uh, I hope to unbox all of them, get to see what they look like outside the box, and also show you the new ones that just came out either you know this weekend or last week. Um, I also picked up a couple of exclusives, so uh, let's get started because it's going to be a long, long video. Uh, so the first one I want to do is, uh, as you can see from my shirt, we have the new Grogu stuff. So um, this is the new Mandalorian wave, uh, as you can see here, uh, a lot of the Mandalorian stuff. Um, and then this one is kind of cool because if you look at it here, it's actually called Grogu now. Uh, most of our Funko Pops are called The Child, so uh, you might need to um, do that when you search up for GameStop or uh, all the uh, search engines, because uh, now they're using the name Grogu, so they're using his name, which is awesome. So this is the GameStop exclusive. Uh, this one looks like he has the butterfly, so uh, let's open him up and see what he looks like. So the first one that we're going to unbox is the Grogu GameStop exclusive, which is really cool. So as you can see, he's wearing his uh, brown fur coat attire. Uh, you got the nice Star Wars base, which is really cool. I do like how Star Wars Funko Pops, they at least have a base for them. So they are always will be they will always be standing. Uh, unlike some of the Marvel ones, when they have too big of a head, they fall down. Um, but this one's really cute. So you can see he's got the cool um, butterfly on his hand. Um, he's got the ears a little bit tucked down there, and he looks like he's smiling. So all in all, very cute Grogu. Grogu piece. Continuing on the Grogu set, so here we have the common one from the Wave. So this one he's eating cookies, which is really cool. Um, so far I haven't picked up any of the new ones yet for this set, so maybe I'll do the Mandalorian holding him, but probably not the other ones because I don't really collect Star Wars. It's just the child because I thought he was really cute. Um, so let's open up him eating the cookies. The next one here is another Grogu, so here he is eating cookies from that one episode that you remember, he was in school and he took the kids cookies, which is awesome. Um, same thing, you got the base, uh, the fur coat, uh, nothing in the back here as you can see. The ears are a little bit tucked down, I believe a little bit lower, uh, which is pretty cool. And the facial expression, you know, he's eating the cookie, which is awesome, and uh, you can see a little bit of crumb on his mouth, which is super cute. So he's just eating them like, you know, they're mine, or <laughs> is it okay if I have some? Moving on, we're going to do this new one that just came out uh, last week. Uh, it is the Pumpkin Stitch from Hot Topic exclusive, which is really cool. So, so far I have all the stitches so far, which is awesome. Um, so this one is more of the Halloween theme since October is on its way. So let's open up him with his new costume. So here we have the Hot Topic exclusive for Stitch. Uh, so as you can see here, he is a pumpkin, which is really, really cute. Um, the ears are really, really big. You know, he's got big ears, and you can see he's kind of tilting back and forth, uh, only because of the display. So he can stand, uh, just a matter of the ears keeping him uh, a little off balance. I do like the pumpkin, though. It's carved like his eyes, I believe, uh, but more like a Halloween style, which is really cool. So here we have Stitch, the Hot Topic exclusive. So now we're going to go into the Marvel section, all the Marvel stuff that I picked up, and one of them that's one of my favorites so far is the Carnage. Uh, so this is for the new Venom movie, Let There Be Carnage. Uh, so far, um, Hot Topic seems the one to have these uh, commons, which is cool, that we only have two, Venom and Carnage. I still haven't been able to pick up Venom because every time I go to the store, it's sold out. So unless you guys are able to find it in store, uh, I think they have it on the Funko Shop, so guys check there. Um, but, but so far I have Carnage, which is so cool, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, let's open him up and see what he looks like out of the box. Alright, so one of the first uh, Carnage Funko Pops from the new movie, Let There Be Carnage. Um, I was looking at my old collection and I don't believe there was any uh, Funko Pops for the first Venom movie. So this is really cool. We got our first glimpse of the new Venom and Carnage Funko Pops. Uh, so I as you can see here, this is more of the movie related ones. You know, you don't see uh, more of a Marvel look to them, like a cartoonish one. So um, the skin itself, it's a bit of a darker red. Um, the eyes are a little bit bigger and then he has his tongue sticking out with the teeth. Um, and then the skin, you know, you could see the, the symbiote, right? It's not as smooth uh, in the Marvel cartoon version, like you can see the back of his head. They, they look like more 
like muscles and blood vessels and then again it looks a little bit more creepy which is awesome in terms of what carnage is and who he is um you can see here he's got that cool posture and pose um but other than that yeah so this is the movie version which is really cool i think it's the difference between you know the skin color of the symbiote uh being it more like you know blood and um, muscles and a uh, little bit of gory type feature to it which is cool um, i'm hoping to get the venom one but so far here we have is carnage so you can't unbox a carnage without doing a spider-man which is my next one which is really cool it's the no way home new spider-man funko pops which is awesome these were also coming out of hot topic so it looks like hot topic is on the uh, you know head of the game head of the curve here because uh, they have a lot of the new ones that are coming out which is awesome so here we have our brand new no way from home uh funko pop which is so cool you can see the back side here if you guys seen the trailer, you have to see the trailer. It is so good. I cannot wait for the movie to come out. Um, but here we have a few glimpses of the new suits that he'll have. Um, so, so far we have just three. Uh, be aware, they're probably going to be more exclusives, new waves, next wave. So obviously this is just a, you know, a taste of what we have. Uh, so, so far we have Doctor Strange and two new Spider-Man suits. Uh, I only picked up the two Spider-Man suits because I only just collect the Spider-Mans. Uh, I don't need the Doctor Strange one. Um, but yeah, so let's open up this one and see what he looks like. So here we have one of the first glimpses of the new Spider-Man Funko Pops from the new movie No Way Home. Uh, this one looks really cool, so hopefully without any spoiling, uh, spoilers or anything like that, you know, we, we just have the trailer, so at least we can have a hint or an idea of what this is per se. So all I know is right now from the, from the color scheme and the armor, it might be his old suit from Infinity Wars or Endgame. Uh, which really cool though is that he's got a lot of Doctor Strange elements to him. You can see the centerpiece on his chest and what appears to be where he would shoot webs is more of like a magical blast that Doctor Strange would use. Um, so maybe that's a hint. Maybe Doctor Strange gave him a couple of powers, upgrading his suit with some magical abilities. We don't know. But other than that, this is the new Spider-Man Funko Pop. The next one that I'm super excited about is his new black and gold suit Spider-Man, which is so cool. Um, I cannot wait to see what he looks like in here. This looks really good. So I can't wait to see him in the movie. Um, but so far we haven't seen anything um, But for the trailer. But obviously it's No Way Home, so there's going to be other Spider-Mans. You know, we got Tobey Maguire, uh, Andrew Garfield. So oh, it's going to be so good. I just cannot wait. So, But right now we just have these three, so let's open up this one. And another new suit for the new Spider-Man movie. Uh, you can see it's gold and black, which is really cool. And uh, Target, I believe, has a 10-inch coming out with this version. So this looks really cool. So other than that, you can see the pose. A similar pose to one of the other Spider-Mans that I believe I have. You know, I don't know why they made him a big base when he's crouching like that. He could probably stand without the base. Um, but I do like the gold trim uh, and the black, which is really cool. The nice black there. And then I see, like, blue dots on his eyebrows above his eyes i'm not sure what that means but uh, maybe it might be a new feature to the suit we won't know uh, but other than that this is the new spider-man so that was all the marvel um before i go into my anime stuff that i picked up i wanted to do one more hot topic exclusive and it's the general grievous uh for star wars so like i said i don't collect all star wars i just collect a few ones you know jedis villains uh, the child Grogu, a couple of droids maybe, but not like the entire set. There's just so many Star Wars that I just couldn't uh, do, so I just like, you know, it's okay. So, But this one was pretty cool, because, um, you know, they had the another Walgreens exclusive uh, Grievous, which was um, super expensive, but now this is kind of like a reprint. So for all you guys who couldn't get the Walgreens exclusive, uh, they also have a Hot Topic one, which is awesome. So uh, let's open up uh, General Grievous. So here is the new Hot Topic exclusive for General Grievous. Um, as you know, there there is already a Funko Pop, which is a Walgreens exclusive, which is really expensive and hard to get now these days. So at least they kind of make reprints now, which is really awesome for brand new collectors getting into the game and getting Funko Pops that are not too expensive right now. Um, but this one looks really cool. So obviously he's got the four arms with the four lightsabers. His pose looks really cool. You got the base, Star Wars base there, which is nice. And then the head looks really amazing. Um, I believe this one has like more of a darker tan gray color to it versus the Walgreens exclusive where he's wearing the cape and he's more white, I believe. Uh, I gotta remember what that picture looks like. But other than that, this one looks really good. I think this is the one where, you know, he's getting ready to fight Obi-Wan in um, Revenge of the Sith. And now we're gonna do some anime. Uh, obviously I have a lot of anime and the first one I wanna do is Dragon Ball Z. So here we have Gohan eating noodles. I had to get this one because I already have Goku and Vegeta eating noodles. So it'd be cool if I have all three of them. So now I need like trunks or something. So that way, you know, I could put next to Vegeta. 
Uh, but this is the new wave, Dragon Ball Z, so they're finally coming out. Um, you can see here we have uh, Dr. Jiro, Kami, uh, the Gohan that we have, Cell, uh, fa uh, number, number one, that's the first form, uh, another Goku, and then a Vegito. So I'm pretty excited about the Cell having the first form. That means we're gonna probably get the second form as well so we can complete you know, the, the evolution. Uh, Dr. Jiro is a nice touch. Uh, getting him and then uh, Vegito's nice and Kami so hopefully we get Mr. Popo because Mr. Popo is pretty cool um, Again another Super Saiyan Goku not very exciting, but at least this Gohan is eating noodles So we have a new Gohan that we could put onto our collection. So uh, let's uh, let's open up Gohan So here we have Gohan eating noodles, which is really cool um, Unfortunately when I looked at it, it looks like he's eating like spaghetti Which is kind of unfortunate because the other two Goku and Vegeta are eating ramen from a ramen cup Which would have been really cool if he did too uh, but here we have Gohan, I believe this is Cell Saga, based on what he's wearing, uh, with the white shirt and the pants, like this is pretty much on his break before the week uh, when he faces Cell. Um, but this one looks really good, he's super same form, you got the green eyes, the yellow hair, and then him eating uh, noodles. The next one that I want to open up is Kami. So we already have Kami and Gohan out. We just got to wait for the other ones, which I think they're delayed like back November, December or something. So uh, we have a long ways to go. But yeah, let's open up Kami. Finally, we actually have a new Dragon Ball Z character, Kami, which is so cool. Uh, so we have the new Namekian, uh, Guardian of the Earth. Uh, you know, before Dende, uh, Kami was really cool, very, uh, very pristine, very wise. Uh, and then you can see he's holding his staff, um, and then the cape, uh, the cape draping down on him, which is really nice. And then the symbol in the center, which we all see and love. Uh, so Kami was really cool. I can't wait. Maybe they'll do Mr. Popo and Dende, uh, but for now, all we have is Kami. And the next one that I wanted to do is Prince Vegeta. You know, him being a kid, which is really cool. Um, this is from the previous set, which he's right there, and then I do have the Frieza, so we're going to open him up as well. Um, but yeah, finally we got these two. It's been a long time since we were able to get these two. We already had a, we already had this wave come out a long time ago, so for him, for him to come out now, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, let's see what v Prince Vegeta looks like as a kid. So here we have Prince Vegeta, which is really cool. As you can see here, this is more of him in his younger youth. Um, you can see he's got the Saiyan armor, the red cape. Uh, the tail right under him right there, which is cool, and then the hairstyle. Uh, obviously, Saiyans keep their hairstyle from the moment they're born, and they don't need haircuts. I believe that's what Vegeta said in the Cell Saga when he came out of the hyperbolic time chamber. Uh, when Bulma asked why don't they get haircuts. Uh, but other than that, this one's a really cool piece. Uh, hopefully, since we already have uh, Goku as a kid too, now that we have Vegeta, which is pretty awesome, uh, they're kind of doing a little bit more variation uh, in Dragon Ball Z, so that's pretty good. And the last one, like I said, is another Frieza. Um, they make so many Friezas at this point. It's like the same thing with Goku and Vegeta. There's just too many of them. You know, you don't need all of them. Um, but this one is pretty cool, I would have to say. So I want to open up him and show you uh, and then see what Frieza looks like. So here we have Frieza, uh, one of uh, the new ones that came out. At first, I didn't think I wanted him, but then after taking him out, I kind of do now. I'm glad that I was able to get him. Uh, as you can see here, no, his tail is not broken. <laughs> um, this is actually one of the ones that, you know, he was shooting his attack, disc attack, at Goku, and then uh, Goku ended up getting, was able to cut his tail with the attack, and then eventually cutting half, like, his whole body. Uh, but this is ones that I like. It's because of his body posture, which looks like he's ready to fight. Uh, you can see he's got a little bit more muscle to him, a little bit more bulk. It looks like he kind of powered up there a little bit. And then the eyes, the eyes uh, do me good. You know, he's got some po he's got some posture and look to him, uh, which is nice. Uh, but other than that, this is another Frieza. Hopefully they uh, do more of his second form, you know, the big one with the horns. Uh, that one I wouldn't mind having too. Kind of like an evolutionary change. Uh, like what we have for Cell, because we already have the final form. The first form's coming, so maybe we'll get the second one. The next anime that I want to do is Sword Art Online. So we finally have new, I want, I want to say reprints of these. We have Kirito and Asuna. Um, we also have Leafa, which I have the set here. So I have the entire core set, um, which is awesome. So first we're going to open up Kirito, and then we're going to open up Asuna, and then see what they look like. 
Alright guys, so here we have it, new reprints of Sword Art Online. So here we have Kirito and Asuna, which is really awesome. Um, now that with Funko, they're starting to upgrade their forms of Funko Pops in terms of like what they look like and as well as the um, way that they stand. So now they're doing a lot more of, you know, postures, a lot of more stances, which is really cool. You know, the old versions of Asuna and Kirito, you know, they have their hands down, their swords to their side, and they're just standing. At least here now you can see that they are, uh, you know, forming a pose and having a cool look to them, which is awesome. Uh, so you can see here, this is the Sword Art Online Season 1, I believe. Uh, you know, you got Kirito in his black outfit, and then Asuna in her red guild uh, outfit as well. Uh, the hairstyles are look amazing. Uh, the backsides look awesome. Uh, Kirito doesn't have a base, but at least Asuna does. She could stand. Uh, Kirito's having a hard time standing, so you guys might have to be careful with that. But other than that, yeah, so here we have Sword Art Online. Now that we looked at Kirito and Asuna, we're going to look at a couple other ones here. So we have Leafa, and I just picked up the box launch exclusive for Asuna. There is an FYE exclusive for Kirito, but he's not out yet. He's delayed, I, I think, like another week or two. So hopefully I can get him so I can complete the whole set. But so far we have these two, so let's open them up as well. So for the last unboxing here, I have Leafa and then the box on sh exclusive Asuna. Um, Leafa is part of the second half of the first season. Um, which uh, I believe she is a relative, I think cousin maybe, sister, I can't recall, I can't remember. Um, but then in, in the game, I think she's an elf or fairy. I believe she's an elf, but you guys can correct me, you guys usually do. Um, and then, uh, you know, she's got her sword and her green outfit. For Asuna though, this one's really cool. I really like this box launch exclusive. Uh, she's leaping in the air, getting ready to attack. Um, and then she's got that cool pose, that cool stance uh, with the with the stand there to help her uh, in the air, which is awesome. I cannot wait for the FYE one for Kito because he's doing the same thing, but he's got both his swords while he dual wields. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is the uh, Funko Pop for the Sword Art Online uh, Funko Pops. And the last one I wanted to do, and an also shout out to them, is Badger's Collectibles. So I finally got the Minato bundle for them. Um, I got the AA exclusive, triple A exclusive uh, for Minato, so you can see here. And then also the Glow in the Dark Chase from them. So I got them from Badger's Collectibles. I'll post a link uh, in the description uh, about them. They're really good. Solid shipping. You, you guys can't do anything about it. They're so good about it. Um, their, their number one priority is to make sure that their boxes are intact for you. Um, and then I've actually seen them in the group, you know, um, with damages being group, uh, damages on the boxes, they'll, they'll work with you and like get you a new one or they'll just help you out somehow. So they're not just someone who sends it to you and says good luck. So they really care about uh, the customer services they do. Um, I'll also link a Facebook group to them if you want to join because they also do a lot of announcements, um, which is so cool. So Badgers Collectibles, hopefully you guys are able to be uh, joined. If not, check them out. They're really cool. Um, but other than that, yeah, so here we have the mini toes. Um, I think for now I want to keep these in the plastic uh, boxes because they're so cool, especially the chase. So I won't unbox them, but I'll show you guys here what they look like, which is really cool. So you can see here he's got the kunai, and then he's got the Rasengan in his hand, which is awesome. Um, for them, they're just Naruto ones that I really like, so I really don't want to unbox them. But I do want to do a shout out, like I said, Badger's Collectibles. Check them out. They're really good. So yeah, that's them. And that is it, Fungal Collectors. That is my huge haul that I picked up this month. I cannot wait for some new videos to come out. Uh, one of them being the Avatar. I did pick up the Target exclusive Glow in the Dark. So I hope to get the entire set. I'm still waiting on them. I uh, pre-ordered them from MK Toys, so they said they should be coming soon. Uh, fingers crossed. I mean, everyone else had them, so I'm just hoping they get in time uh, so I could do that because I did pick up May. As you can see there, I picked up May. She's way over there somewhere. There she is. Uh, and then I have the entire Blue Spirit. Every I just want to do a huge Avatar set. Uh, the only one that I won't be having is obviously is the um, new Big Apple collectibles of Azula, you know, shooting her flames out. I'll show a picture right there. That's what she looks like. Um, and, uh, you know, that says not till coming till 2022 of January, so next year, so I, I'm not going to wait for that. As soon as MK gets their uh, set here, I will definitely do an entire set uh, opening for them. So this is going to be great. I can't wait for the Avatar. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys later.